Good evening, South Africa, and welcome to another episode of Late Night News. Today, we start with some very good news. South African billionaire Patrice Mutipe came out last week in a press conference to say that he will be giving half of his 25 billion rand fortune to the poor, needy, hopeless. Those of us who are more successful, more fortunate, are sending a message to those who are less fortunate, who are marginalized, who are poor, who are unemployed, who are for one other reason. Uh... Patrice had to keep it a secret because others we will not mention by name would have been calling him hard. We need security, yes, Baba. We need security. That's 50 million. Can't you don't find Aye, man. You can't just be giving away money while people need security for Gandam. He power to Mali, man. Yes, yes. Others would be sending him SMSs like, at 2 a.m. in the morning, please call I owe 16 million to text men. Shame, Chilias. Why did you have to bring the attention to the text man? The text man was minding his own business. You came and you said, Ola, text man, I'm over here. I'm over here. Huh? I, I'm here. And if there is anything SARS wants from me, they've got uh, my contact. Out of all the things Juju, huh? would have said the one thing he did not say after talking all that nonsense was hey son hey. and i guess like guerra says it's cold outside the anc in more news about giving money this week it surfaced that helen zilla had received donations from the guptas amounting to four hundred thousand rand when the ruling party found out they were on Helen's case like a bad rash or, 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 or the smell of alcohol on Judge Mutata. It's as, it's as if Helen Zeller was Mother Teresa and the ANC found out that she had a secret affair long ago. So, Bakil, Mother Teresa, But Helen did not deny having uh, uh, taken money from the Guptas. In fact, she was quoted as saying, Ah, and my colleague Ian Davison. Dilly went to the Gupta's home, ate some of the most delicious food I've ever eaten, and then we received a check for 200,000 rand from individuals who made the pledge. So for six years, Helen Zilla bitched hard, complained, complained about the ANC's dodgy ways, knowing fully well that the Guptas also gave her money. Hmm? You didn't say a thing, Helen. You said nothing until now when you are forced to say something and you have to admit, you know what, Helen? You are dodgy. Hmm? You are dodgy. Since there will be no inquiry about all this, we here at LNN huh, are taking the ANC, the New Age, the Guptas, all the parastatals to the Court of Common Sense. Okay, let, let, let us start. The Guptas, huh? great friends of the president, pay for his children's education, they employ his children and his wives, put money into the Nkandla Resort, decided to start a newspaper that nobody buys. Hmm? And we know nobody buys it because we've never seen anyone read the New Age. And then now our government hmm, somehow manages to find creative ways to funnel our taxpayers' money into this newspaper, claiming that they are trying to communicate with their constituency. No. Body reads the newspaper. Hmm? Common sense tells me that Jacob can't just keep taking, taking, taking. At some point, he has to give back. Exhibit B. Helen Zilla, after the Guptas gave her money, they started demanding things. Huh? Like, like blue light brigade escorts from the airport. Now, a story has surfaced that the ANC is renting office space in Cape Town owned by the Guptas. But the ANC haven't paid rent for four years. And common sense tells me the Guptas are not the most charitable bunch of around. Of course, they want something in return. Okay? Okay? South Africa, we've heard the evidence. Now it's time for the verdict, ruling, whatever you call it. Guptas? Guilty. New Age? Guilty. All the parastatals? Guilty. ANC? Guilty. Government? Guilty. And just to add on, because now I just told you, Helen, Guilty for eating at the Guptas hmm? and acting like you guys are cool. We saw you there eat the car. You confessed. What you ate the car? Now you're acting as all self wretches on top of that. Hmm? The court of common sense therefore sentenced all of you hmm? to drown in a pot of Gupta curry. 
Attack, man.